Okay, I'm here with Koa. Koa likes to pull on the leash. In this video, I'm gonna go over uh, a circling method. This is developed by Denise Fenzi. So if you have, and it was actually, I believe, developed for, he's very vocal, uh, it was developed for horses, and you can't physically move a horse. So um, I'm gonna cover some of the highlights, but it's about a $50 course if, you're on, if you have a dog that pulls on the leash. This is a great way. It doesn't teach him to walk with a heel, just to not to lunge and pull on the leash. Now, uh, I wanna talk about the equipment. We have a six foot long leash here. When I'm doing this, I'm gonna be holding the leash I have my hand through the loop and I'm going to be holding it here. I'm going to be keeping this hand anchored against my chest. The other hand I'm going to use to manage the leash. And it's a front, this is a uh, easy walk harness. It's a front, front clip harness. You do not want to pull a dog backwards. That will create more pulling forward. Now dogs have what's called an opposition reflex. They are programmed to push or pull against pressure. So, hey buddy, you're doing very good. So basically what we're going to do is we're going to walk him around and whenever he pulls, we're going to do a circle. You can go right or left. Now this clip is in the front, so if he starts going that way, uh, we, ideally we'd like the circle to go whichever direction the leash is falling. So in this case it's going to be here. And we have a, a Belgian Malinois over there that's off leash with a shot collar, which I'm not a fan of. Uh, but we're going to try to keep our distance. You want to, when you're doing this, you want to find an area like this. This is a big open park, preferably with not a lot of crazy stuff going on. You want to find a park where there's not a lot of distractions at first. Eventually you want to work your way up to that point. Now, um, if you find yourself getting dizzy on the circles, make your circle bigger or make it, make it more of an oval. All right, so I'm gonna have the camera back up a little bit and you're just, we're just gonna kind of walk around a little bit. So again, I'm, trying, I'm gonna try to keep it here. So if you wanna go a little bit more distance and I'll just kind of shout. So if he pulls, I, my, my arm is anchored here, we do a big circle. And then we go back to whatever it was that he was going towards. Okay, as soon as he pulls, we do a loop. So if you're in doubt, you're going to do a loop. Now a lot of people will do it like this. See how I'm pulled on the leash? I just turned on my, uh, on my hip. Uh, on my, I pivoted. So what you want to do is you want to use a gradual. Now you can either make the circle really big in the entry of the circle or make the big, circle big on the exit of the circle. Let's say he wants to sniff something. I'll give him a target to sniff. So as he pulls, that was not a great pull by me. I'm kind of reversing my hands. And then we bring him back to whatever he wants to sniff. We want him to sniff, he can sniff things, he just can't pull us to get there. Sniffing is how dogs should be experienced in the world. Oh, buddy. Let's go back and let's try that again. Again, keep your arm anchored up here. As long as he's not pulling, we're fine. As soon as the leash gets tense, a pretty sharp turn for me. That was not a great one. I'm a little bit rusty on this. So he pulled. And he is not allowed to sniff anything on the circle. Now there's a dog over here. We're going to use this as an opportunity. So keep walking backwards. Keep the sun over there. There's a couple dogs over there. Keep the sun over there. Yeah. So he's pulling. So we go away from him. We do a circle. And we walk back towards him. I'm using this arm to keep it from getting tangled up. Now, if your dog's ever reacted to something, the best thing you can do is increase distance. And I'm pulling it back away from it, he's going to pull towards it. The circle method, eventually you want to have to do quite as many circles, but you want to walk back towards your target. And he gets excited again, pull. And again, make the loop bigger if you start getting dizzy. And I don't want to pull him. That's why I keep this arm anchored here. He goes. Those dogs are running. It's going to be a little bit harder. Go ahead and back up. These dogs are kind of barking, uh, wagging there, so kind of keep me in the Watch me through the shot. Holes. Keep walking backwards. I'll walk towards you. Now, these dogs are pulling. Don't stop in the loop. And sometimes you might have to do a second loop right here. So what we're teaching him, go ahead and back up if you could, is as soon as I pull, we walk away from the thing, and we get an opportunity to walk back towards it. Now this is a really good, uh, well, it's good and bad. <laughs> it's good because we have a couple dogs right over here. If you want to page over and just sh uh, show those dogs. 
This is great to practice with, but not at this stage. He's not. And so if your dog is reactive, we want to increase the distance. So you see now that the, even though the dogs behind us are still running around, we've increased the distance and so now he's reactive. Mm -hmm. So again, this is really, really simple. All we're doing is loops. And again, if he turns this way, then I would switch. You gotta be better good at doing that pretty quickly. And then again, we circle okay. around. Now we have dogs in front of us and behind us. This is not an ideal situation. We're doing this at the end of a session, so we just had to kind of go through it. So I wanted to give you some pointers. And again, if this is something that you like, I would take the $50, it's an online course, so you can do it as you go. 50 bucks, Denise Fenzi, F-E-N-Z-I Academy, I believe is the website. Um, it's a great technique. So even though there's a dog running here, dog sitting over there, dogs are running up and back <laughs> behind us, and he's not lunging. Koa, this is Koa. Koa, come here, buddy. And these are some tips and tricks you can use if you have a dog that likes to pull or lunge on the leash.